guys, uh, we are back for another season, and we have somebody here. You already know him. This is my husband, Matt. Hi. <laughs> He's not much of a talker, but he is going to try to uh, take the reins a little bit this season. We'll see if that happens. He's kind of shy. <laughs> so we'll see. But he is going to be in a lot more of the videos um, with everything coming up. Uh, everything's expanding so that's part of why we're coming on to talk to you right now a couple of main things big things is uh, YouTube so we're gonna be doing a lot more videos uh, I'd like to do possibly five to six days a week once the season picks up so we'll see you know how how well we do with that <laughs> as long as we got stuff to show we'll do it which I'm we will sure <laughs> as long as I don't mind editing. He I don't know mind. how. He doesn't edit. I can teach you. <laughs> if you really want to learn, <laughs> I can teach you. So, okay. With all the stuff that we have coming up, though, we should have enough content to be able to get five to maybe six videos uh, a week. Another big thing is uh, Home Centers of America. We are going to that this year, but we will be vendors there this year. So. Um, I will be selling my candles, and then my son Aiden, who you see in like almost every video, my 12 year old, uh, he wrote a book on homesteading. So he has uh, six, is it six? Six, I think, published books out, and one of those is on the history of homesteading. And towards the end of it, it has to do with um, his homesteading, so here, doing it here. Um, so he will be selling those there and I will be selling my candles. Once I have more information on that I'll let you guys know like what booth we're at, like where we'll be on the grounds, that kind of thing. Uh, I just don't have that yet. But once I do, I'll definitely let you know. But that's a big deal. Like I'm excited for cool. Home Center of yeah. America. I'm excited to go down there. We're in Massachusetts. It's gonna be a nice road trip to go down there. On to business. We are planning to expand quite a bit this year. Um, one thing is we are looking for more property, which we're not having much luck with <laughs> at all. Nothing. There is nothing here. Uh, like I have, I've gone on realtor.com and I have put in just the state of Massachusetts, not even a city. And there's, um, for, for what we need, there's like 300 listings. And most of those are just land with nothing on it. Um, we kind of need a house, so <laughs> we need something on it. Even if it's something small and we have to build onto, we still need something. Anyway, um, we've now kind of talked about possibly looking into other states. We'll see how that works out, but that is something that we've discussed a little bit and uh, we'll look more into it. While we're still here on this land, we are expanding to, to gosh, do a lot of stuff, right? We have a lot of things in the works. We are already selling um, our meat, so like our bacon that you saw in the last video that I was carrying and smoking, um, that is already sold. It's gone. So people like bacon. People like bacon. People like our bacon. <laughs> we have we have some repeat customers. They like the bacon. So the point is to expand on that. Do more of it get more pigs I think we're still we're still at this point going to do two pigs at a time twice a year but we did talk about possibly doing four pigs but separating them two and two um, because as we learned with the last batch we did three all together and Three's a crowd. he takes care of the pigs <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that <laughs> you didn't like it it wasn't fun they are quite brats <laughs> You didn't like it at all, did you? They were big pains in the butts. Yeah. Big pains in the butts. They they really were. Like, you guys saw the videos from last year. Even from just me out there, anybody just walks out and they go insane. So, they got out of the fence a couple times, right? Okay. I thought it was twice. Well, it was twice. The second time was when we were putting them. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Them away. So, <laughs> to get butchered. The best day of my life. The first two pigs we bad. did were fine, right? The first two pigs, yeah, they, were fine. they stayed they on an no electric issues. fence, no issues, and we only did two. The second time around, we had those three thinking, no big deal. Oh, it's it's quite a difference. Quite a difference between those two and then having three. So anyway, we will do two again, which actually we pick up just in a couple of weeks, right? 
beginning of March? Middle of March, maybe. Middle of March. Is it well, mid-March? It all depends on the snow. Yeah, we've got a lot of snow. It just keeps snowing. <laughs> Um, so anyway, that's it. That's what we're doing for pigs. We are completely redoing their pen. We are getting cattle panel um, with the um, T pose. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I was gonna say T steak. T pose. Um, they'll still we'll, we'll still build them a nice big um, shelter, but their surround will not be the pallets anymore. It's going to be the cattle panel, um, and then we're gonna figure out how to. Energize, so maybe the cattle panel itself. I don't know. Or oh no, we talked about running the fence, the the pig fence that we have on the inside, and turning that on. So we'll see. We're gonna just kind of mess with stuff and see what works best. We'll see what happens. Either way, that's gonna be completely revamped, and they're gonna be moved to the other side of the woods. So they were all the way here to the left. They're gonna be all the way to the right because this whole area is gonna be gardens. Um, and it'll be easier to get in and out with a truck to load them. All right, so speaking of gardens, I would like to do probably three times the gardens that we did last year. So we had this over here, we had the little one over by the fence, and then we had Aiden's garden up there. It's kind of all over the place. This year we're moving, all the animals are gonna be shifted to over here. So the goats will be over here, chickens, turkeys, everybody's gonna be over here. Um, and that we're taking the entire space, the entire back here in front of the woods, spanning all the way across, and that's going to be gardens. And I'm personally excited about that because that's a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. We are also expanding what we're growing as well as how much because that brings me to the next thing, which is a farm stand. We are going to hopefully be setting up a farm stand out front. Selling the vegetables there, candles there, that kind of stuff. Um, we won't be selling meat there, so if you're anybody local, which I know there's a few of you, um, just you just gotta contact us if you want meat cuts or anything like that, and then and we'll meet you with that. But yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, so if they come up there and they ask for the meat, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, just, well, just even gotta if contact they come us. Here, it's not yeah. gonna be out front. It won't be yeah. sitting out. Yeah, front. no, it won't be sitting. No, out front, it won't be sitting we'll out front. We'll that we sell it. Yeah, exactly. So if you you just got to get a hold of us, whether you come here or you call or whatever, um, and we'll get that for you. But it, that won't meat won't be sitting out front. <laughs> uh, that looks like it's gonna fall right off the table. Look at that. Woohoo! That was close. Um, what else? Goats. So we have Olivia and Charlie. So Olivia actually will be old enough. She'll be bred in the fall, I believe. I made the appointment for October with Lindsay. So we're gonna bring Olivia to another farm, actually where we got them, and uh, they're gonna breed her with one of their goats because Charlie is fixed. He can't, nothing he can do. He's just a companion at this point. <laughs> so he's a cool companion. These goats are the best. I, they're my favorite. Are they your favorite, you think, on the, on the farm? Yeah, yeah, they're the most ones with kind of a personality. Yeah, they're just, they're like, they're like sweet little dogs almost. You just, they run up to you and they want you to pet them and they, they'll jump up on you. They're so cute. Just have them in the house and they poop Yeah, <laughs> they came in the house. Or I'll show you that day. picture. <laughs> yeah, they came in the house and Charlie tried getting up on the table. It was, it was cute. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so she will kid in uh, February, March, the following year, next year. After that, we will have goat's milk. That's when um, we will start making goat's milk soaps and different things like that, utilizing the, the goat's milk. And then the the, um, the kids, it's still weird to say that, will be for sale. <laughs> it's weird to say the kids. Not our kids. Not our kids, kids the baby goats. <laughs> <laughs> will be for sale. Um, let's see, chickens. I did all this. Chickens. We, have chickens. we have 15 chickens right now. We are going Monday and picking up six more who are eight months old, so they're right at the age to start laying. And uh, we get plenty of eggs right now to feed our family, and then a little more than that, even in the wintertime. We're getting maybe five, six eggs a day. I think we got six yesterday. Um, so they're doing fairly well considering it's winter time and chickens really slow down at that time. But we want to sell the eggs. So we're going to get six more 
and possibly a few more after that if we find them. I'm not in a huge hurry, but it would be nice to to get as many eggs as possible to sell. <laughs> so that's that with that. Um, that's for the hen. Now chicken, uh, meat chickens, Cornish cross chickens. We I just ordered a hundred of those last night. Aiden's gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. actually is not a fan of meat chickens <laughs> because they're crazy. A hundred meat chickens. There, I think the most we've done at once is like sixty-five meat that's chickens. So it's not a huge no, difference. Still pretty close. But he's not a fan, so I think I might have to take that over as uh, my part on the farm for the summer because the meat chickens they just chase you, they get under your feet. They're 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 like pigs. When you're trying to get in there and give them food, they don't get out of the way. They just want food. Yeah, they, they do anything to get it. They don't get out of the way at all. They're and like I've stepped on a chicken. He stepped on a chicken. <laughs> they just they don't get out of the way. Now we're gonna do that this year three times a year. So we'll end up doing 300 chickens by the time the year is over. Last year I believe we did 200 ish total maybe 150 to 200 it's hard to keep track because i literally just was like i'm going to get chickens and <laughs> i don't know and at different times but this time we're really going to be strategic died, a few of them died yeah but um we're going to be strategic about it so 100 first when those ones are about to be butchered i'm going to put in an order for the next 100 and so on three times for the year and that being because i sold most of them last year so out of all that chickens, we had we had enough for ourselves, and we, we have maybe four left, I think, in our freezer. Four left, uh, and so and I sold almost all of them. I kept enough for ourselves, but yeah. With the chicken, with butchering, we are going to be having um, butchering classes. We're gonna be holding classes. So probably a max of like five people at first to just kind of. Keep it small, test it out, see how it goes. Yeah, and COVID. And COVID, yeah, exactly. So it'll be from start to finish, from getting the chickens out of the pen and the whole thing. Uh, also, we'll be plucking by hand during these classes, just to give it, not everybody has a, a plucker. We don't even have one yet. I plan to get one though, um, because other than these classes, I'd like to just use a plucker. It'd be a lot easier. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna do it um, by hand and show the whole thing and teach a little bit about them um, about you know while you're raising them what we have found is best for us and, and all of that um so you, i'll give you guys more information on that when it's time and you'll also be able to find it on the website that we are currently in the process of putting up <laughs> i don't think i have much left to do i just have to finish that one page about meat and that's it so anyway, I'll let you guys know when it's finished. The candles will also be available on that website once it's up. Um, again, it will be will be at Homesteaders of America. If you want to go there, if you plan on going there, I'll let you know the information about that. Okay, another huge thing, actually a big thing that I'm excited about is what I'd like to do is get bees. Right? I think I mentioned that last year in a video that we were getting bees this year. How do you feel about getting these? Oh, that beehive thing or that whatever it is that you were The flow get. hive? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you don't want to do that though. No, I, I do want to do that. That's for, for, for the honey. I think you can get honeycomb out of that. I'm not sure though. Because I want, I want the honeycomb and I want the honey and the bees wax. Like I want it all. Like utilize everything. So I'll have to look into it and see. the easiest way. It's got a tap on it. It is easy, but you still got to get into it though for stuff. Well, no, I understand that, but just you know, you don't have to put on a big suit just to go get honey. Yeah, you and just go and tap it and or just open it up and mm -hmm. pour it out. You're good. And um, you don't have to like we saw that video where they put the the things in and whipped around, spun around all the honey flung out. Oh, you don't yeah, have to yeah. do that. It's it's just, you literally open the tap and the honey comes out. It does something inside it like ships it. So it breaks off the caps and all the honey comes out. So anyway, yeah, that's a huge thing that I um, am really excited for. I uh, want to get bees. Because I use an insane amount of honey myself. Just myself. I use a lot of honey. You're a honey freak. I, I use it in like teas and like desserts. I use a lot of honey. So 
Um, yeah, hopefully that will be soon. That would actually, that's something actually I'm going to be doing fairly quickly because I need it to get shipped here. It's, they make it in Australia. So I need it to get shipped here in time to get everything set up and then get the bees and all of that. Uh, rabbits? Yeah, rabbits though. Um, we have set, what do we have? Seven rabbits right now? I think we have seven rabbits right now. We sold a couple. I think, yeah, so I think there's seven rabbits. So there are two that we are looking to sell, Bear and Midnight. Both males. We don't need a million males. Um, we have three females at the time, at the moment. So, and I actually think the Cottontail is bred right now. I think she, she keeps, we keep catching her over on the male side because we have them separated. And we've caught her Not over there well. like, yeah. <laughs> And we've got them twice. I think it's partly because of the snow and stuff. It's piling up and like you were out there today trying to shovel it out. And it's just yeah. ice under there and it's hard to get out. So I think the height of it is making it easier because another rabbit jumped out. Out of the thing completely. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was because there's a piece of wood in there. So I think oh, they're okay. jumping out of the piece of the wood is... Yeah. Jump. <laughs> leverage. <laughs> leverage. <laughs> I guess. The funny thing is, is though, we've had rabbits get out a million times and they don't go anywhere. They, they just hop around the yard and they don't, they let you catch them. Yeah, it goes into the shed and just eats. Eats, eats food off the ground, <laughs> yeah, from, that's where the feed is. So yeah, they, they'll hop around like the chickens. I don't know, they just don't go anywhere. <laughs> they don't leave. So, um. They know better. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would too. I, I would, if I'm getting fed, yeah. that's where they feed me, I'm staying. <laughs> so anyway, we'll take you guys around. The, the videos are going to start now. <laughs> now, uh, I'll, I'll be posting every day as many as I can, um, as many days I should say. So, yeah, you got anything to add? Are you excited? Yeah. We're hoping to get this going enough so yeah. that he doesn't have to go to a job. Because you still have to work every day. And he comes home, takes care of pigs, gets up at 5 in the morning, takes care of pigs, goes to work, <laughs> comes home, takes care of pigs. <laughs> Before I go to bed, take Before care of Before he pigs. goes to bed, takes care of pigs. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about the pigs for yeah. this one. But he would like to be here a lot, well, always, really, to just kind of work on the farm and generate enough income. Which brings me to a point. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Because we're hoping to make YouTube part of that income. Any, any, any little bit would help. Though. Any Definitely. little bit would help, so... All right, guys, I think we're going to close it out for now, and uh, I will be back tomorrow with another video. Actually, I already shot it today. No. <laughs> so I know how to make candles. She's, she's, she's the I'm already there. She's a swift one. I'm already there, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I can multitask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, um, you have a great day, and, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>